I know, I know, I know, most people like me are tired of bedside nursing. Bedside nursing sometimes can be hard. Now, this is by far my best, okay? By far my best position. Did you know that you can work as a flight nurse? Today, I'm going to tell you 15 positions that you can maintain as a registered nurse without having to do bedside. So just watch this video to the end. Welcome back to another video. If you are new today, of course, my name is Andy. I am a family nurse practitioner. If you don't know my story, I would definitely recommend you checking other videos in this channel. And when you do, if you feel like this is the place for you, please, please subscribe to the channel, like, share the video, turn on your notification bell, so that whenever we are live or we have a new video, you will be among the first to know. Most people like me are tired of bedside nursing. Bedside nursing sometimes can be hard. For some people, that they're passionate about that and that's totally fine. That is absolutely okay. If you are tired of bedside nursing, I just want to tell you there are so many other things that you can do and it's not bedside. The good thing about nursing is that being a registered nurse, like you can do so many things. You have so many options. It's not one and done. It is one and branch out as much as you want and however you like. So if you're passionate about bedside, please go ahead. We need you, of course, stay there. But if you're not, let me tell you different, different things that you can do as a registered nurse. There are people that have graduated and have never worked as a bedside nurse, and that's okay. There are people like some of us that started way from the bottom and worked our way up, and that's cool too. Number one, you can be an academic nurse writer. These are the things you're going to do. You can create content on different healthcare related topics for journals, website, and manuals. You can conduct research and fact check um, information for them. You can interview trustworthy and respected medical sources and industry representatives. And you can also adhere to client instruction, style guidelines, and appropriate soon for intended audiences so if let's say a company were to talk to clients or you know talk to some people you you know when it comes to healthcare you can teach them the kind of language the tones that they can use while talking to these people number two you can be a legal consultant did you know that yes as a registered nurse you can work as a legal con consultant and what are you going to do with this okay this is what you're going to do as a legal consultant you're going to conduct research into medical disability cases employment records other documents to prepare summaries and legal documents you're also going to make recommendations that inform legal proceedings law enforcement investigations and insurance cases so if there's any insurance case if there's any disability issue if there's any law suit is issue you can be like a registered nurse on that case that is reviewing that case and making recommendations based on your knowledge as a registered nurse okay. number three you can work as a hospice nurse now I know that with hospice nurse, there are some that are bedside, like in a clinic center, but there are also some that are in like homes. So as a hospice nurse, you would visit this patient in their in their home during their end, uh, providing end of life care. So as they are dying, as they're transitioning from life into death, you can go there and provide care for them. And these are the things that you can do for them. You can administer them, their medication. You can monitor vital signs. You can maintain patient's comfort, provide educational and emotional support to family members and caretakers. You know that when someone is dying, there's always family members around them, you know, gathering around because that person is transitioning out of life. So you can be there to provide support, emotional support, educational support if they needed to be, if they need to be educated about what's going on. You can, you know, educate them, give them medication. So you're working at their homes and most times you'll have like maybe three patients at a time and you just go to their homes and visit them and you're done. Number four, you can work as a public health nurse, okay? So as a public health nurse, you will help to identify at-risk 
individuals and groups, address community health needs, and develop preventative care programs to for patients. Most times, you can even do this online. So with uh, and sometimes insurance companies can hire you to call their patients and ask them, okay, have you had your well woman exams this year? Have you had your physical exams this year? You provide, you know, tell them, okay, um, our insurance company can provide transportation. This is your doctor. Call your doctor's office and make appointment. Tell them the things that they need: colonoscopy, screening. Um, Pap smears, mammograms, stuff like that. You can help coordinate, make sure that the patients are doing that. So you can work from home. You can also go to the patient's houses and do this and um, provide this too. So that's a public health nurse. All right, number five, you can work as an occupational nurse. And this is what I did. I worked as an occupational nurse and nurse educator, which is another one that we're gonna talk about. So as a, an occupational uh, nurse, some places call, call it occupational nurse, some places call, call it infection control, but it's the same thing. So you are responsible for like making sure that everybody's health inventory is up to date when they're hired. So when there's a new hire in the, in the company, you know that nurse, that comes and check to make sure you have your MMR, you have your varicella, you got your flu shot, you got all the vaccines that you need, you have um, all your titles are up to par, that is an occupational nurse. Also, when you have an injury at work, whether you have a needle stick, or you got bitten by a patient or any type of injury that happened they are the ones that are responsible to making sure that this patient's vaccine is up to date your vaccine is up to date you need to go do blood work that you need to do to make sure that you were not infected and all of that and then they now look at what caused the injury what can we do to prevent this injury from happening again? How can we make sure that things are put in the right place? That is an occupational nurse. So I worked it as an occupational nurse and I actually did enjoy it. So again, as an occupational nurse, you're going to ensure employees' um, health and safety, investigate and treat work-related injury and illnesses, identify workplace hazards, help management develop safety, safety policies and provide workshops for employees on healthcare issues and prevention. Number six, you can work as a nurse care manager. Yes, you can work as a nurse manager at the, let's say, hospital, nursing home, or you can work as a home health nurse care manager. This is one job that I never did not that i didn't have the opportunity to but i never wanted to do this because most times you take job work home when something is wrong on your floor if you're a manager on the floor you're the first person they're gonna call if someone calls out you let's say you are on a, a saturday okay you're having fun at a party or maybe you went for a 50th jubilee party or you went to church your your worshiping or you're having fun and then someone calls out at your on your floor and they don't have nobody to work guess who they're gonna call you they're gonna call you to tell you that look there's nobody to work this shift blah 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 on your floor so you have to come in and as a manager it is your responsibility to go in so it was just not my forte I wasn't gonna do it okay so so a manager oversees the delivery of efficient and quality care for patients of all ages and diverse backgrounds they maintain health workers and share information with other members of the medical team and with health insurance providers they use advanced software and systems to track patients care and monitor legal and ethical aspects of patient care plans and serve as an advocate for patients and their families so as a manager, you're gonna make sure that your patient care plan is up to date. You have, um, I think it's quarterly um, care plan meetings that you have to go. You look at the care plan and see what we they met, what can be improved. Um, you also work hand in hand with the occupational nurse. I used to work hand in hand with a lot of man with the managers uh, because you also, if something incident happened on their on their floor on their unit, you're going to investigate that with them. The next one is dialysis nurse. 
at a dialysis nurse of course you're working with patients that have kidney failure if you don't know what a dialysis is I, I want you to check that out especially if you're taking NCLEX dialysis is when someone has gone into chronic stage 4 kidney failure your kidney is not able to um, function um, as it's supposed to because guess what your kidney does it filters waste products out of your body when that doesn't happen the waste products are retained in your body because it's swelling in order for you to have that out you have to go for dialysis what is called a dialysis where a machine is hooked up into you to you the machine removes the waste products out of your body so you're going to work with such patients so the dialysis nurse you develop treatment plans for the patient you maintain dialysis procedures and you provide care to patients with kidney related illnesses next one is pharmaceutical sales representative with this kind of position you're going to work with companies most companies that produce drugs you're going to if you are especially if you're someone that you know knows how to sell things know know how to talk this would never be my job okay i don't know how to talk to someone to buy anything okay but if you're someone that, that is very friendly you talk you know how to talk with people know how to relate with people this will be a really good job for you you take the medication you walk into like healthcare clinics out outpatient healthcare centers um hospitals nursing homes and you're just gonna try to sweet talk the doctor and say hey did you know that this medication would be very good for your patient and you will explain to them why they would need to prescribe this medication to their patient okay as a pharmaceutical sales representative you are going to assess client needs and promote products from from certain drug classes you're going to establish networks follow leads meet with healthcare professionals to persuade them to prescribe products provide um, product information and deliver product samples I also used to work as a wound nurse okay all right so when I worked as a wound nurse I used to have a lot of you know sell representatives like this and as a nurse they will come they will show their product and say hey Andy you can use this um, for your patient this does this with this wound and that 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 and they'll try to convince you that this is better than whatever you're using right now and they'll provide you with samples if you use it and you feel like hey this is actually good then you can like now talk your boss or your company into buying this product for your facility so basically that's that's what it is if you own your own clinic as a nurse practitioner or as a doctor they're going to come to your clinic they'll provide lunch i used to like the free lunch okay they'll provide lunch and they'll tell you oh this is why you should prescribe this medication for your patient okay. the next one is the nurse educator the, the nursing home that i used to work for the nurse educator and the put occupational nurse or health quality care nurse was uh, one position they tied them together because basically yeah it does the same you do the same thing nurse educator you're educating so while you're holding the position as occupational nurse uh, or health infection control nurse you're basically basically going to educate so it kind of um tie together they go hand in hand when a new employee is hired while you're talking to them about their vaccines and all of that you're going to be the one to teach them about the company policy making sure that they are up to date with any new policy that has come up or any new procedure that has come up you're going to teach patient um your your employees how to start an iv you're going to teach them when you hire someone new you're going to teach them how to use the vital science machine um how to use the maybe a g-tube machine things like that you're going to teach them update them if there's anything that has been updated when it comes to infection control or when it comes to you know alzheimer's i used to give a lot of teaching about dementia and alzheimer's because the state requires for them to have educational regarding those things so i used to teach them those things so that's what you do as a nurse educator so you teach clinical skills and patient care practices to nursing students advise and mentor students design and assess curriculum engage in scholarly research publish findings and speak on various nursing topics at academic conferences i was really good at this job that the company that i worked with as a as a as, as a whole they would send any new um, nurse educator or occupational health nurse that they hired they would send them to me for training so they will actually come to my facility and train with me before they start working um, on their own um, so 
it at their own center. I used to love teaching because as you guys can tell, I love teaching. So I used to love teaching. I, I know how to break things down for you to really, really understand what I'm saying. So they used to love coming to my class. I'll have some snacks where I will share with them. And you know, when they come, they'll, they'll have snacks, even though the company wasn't providing snacks, but I used to enjoy doing stuff like that. The only downside with that was that I used to also make time for the night people so i would have to go like 6 a.m um and i would give them time let them know that i'm coming in at six o'clock um to give them to teach them so but the good thing was that those days that you come early you can also leave early the next one is nurse informatic specialist i love nursing i'm telling you why won't you love nursing like you have so many options as the name entails informatics you're going to work with computers so what will you do you are going to select and apply technological applications develop and maintain efficient systems and process implementations educate nurses on how to use the system and provide ongoing support work with IT personnel to improve nursing care and patient outcomes and every company needs an RN on their technical team because sometimes they bring out software that doesn't even they are not user user friendly that doesn't even make sense but as a nurse on that team you will be able to say hey this one will not work this is how you do so basically that's what you do next one is a certified diabetes educator of course if you're certified in this you would be teaching patients how to manage their to manage diabetes and how to eat healthy how to live a healthy life by exercising how to prevent diabetes for ones that have pre-diabetes so you teach patients the, the causes of their condition and how to monitor and maintain their symptoms how to take medications and inject insulin educate patients families and caretakers on diet and nutrition skin and eye care and insulin um reactions you know with diabetes diabetes basically affects everything in your body the skin your kidneys the the eye the the heart your nerve when you become a diabetes specialist you can go into homes you can work with a doctor you can work for a company um teaching patients how to take care of themselves i think it's a very very um good and i feel like it ties hand in hand with uh, with wellness um so if you if you also become a wellness specialist you can teach patients how to basically live a healthy life next one is a talent health nurse i kind of touched on this a little bit when i talked about the public health nurse with a telehealth nurse you work with insurance companies or hospitals you work from home telehealth and what you do is you call um patients and make sure that they are up to date on their preventive health care um, needs so, so you're going to consult with other healthcare providers you're going to recommend in-person care when patients need it you're going to monitor patients chronic conditions work to protect um, patient privacy in the remote setting making sure they are up to date when it comes to meds making sure they are refilling their meds and they are actually taking it if um there's these things that pharmacy sends out sometimes saying hey your patient has not picked up this medication for a while or they we are not sure if they are taking it so as a telehealth nurse you'll be able to call the patient make sure and ask them hey are you taking your atomostatin um, for your cholesterol, are you taking it? Are you out of it? Are you what's going on? Do you need refill? They try to figure out and make sure that the patient gets what they need. Now, this is by far my best, okay? By far my best position. Did you know that you can work as a flight nurse? Yes, 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 yes. Yup, you know those flight attendants working, going everywhere, get the opportunity to travel to you know different countries yes some airlines actually do hire a nurse as a flight attendant so as a flight nurse what you'll do is you will assess and monitor critically ill or injured patients administer medications um, and first aid prepare patients for medical transport communicate with other members of the flight team and base of operations so let's say a patient falls sick on the flight 
you are able to provide first aid you are able to call 911 when they land when they come in you'll be able to give them a summary of what happens you can ask the patient their medical history you relate to the 911 personnel and you know basically if there's emergency in the flight you can handle it based on your scope of practice so if you haven't thought of being a flight nurse you should look into it okay final one is a nurse administrator as a nurse administrator you basically take care of the entire facility which is something that i will not do but most people are actually good at this and they love to do it so kudos to you so what will you do as a nurse administrator recruit and hire nurses and schedule nursing shift you set performance goals conduct performance reviews and offer professional development opportunities monitor regulatory and legal compliance issues and create and manage budget so again a nurse administrator also works really hand in hand with a nurse educator so you create budget make sure that the facility is not spending too much money more than they need to make sure that everybody's stuff is up to date meet with managers um, basically oversee the entire building there you go those are my 15 opportunities okay positions that you can hold as a registered nurse so if you've ever thought of quitting bedside go ahead you can quit but if you've ever thought of quitting nursing I would say hold on check out these positions and if any of them feels like something that you would enjoy doing then I would employ you to look into it do not quit there are so many opportunities don't quit all right so that's all i have for you today until my next video i love you with the love of god bye